welcome to Lassen Volcanic National Park. Originally became a national monument in 1907 by one of our famous historical figures, Teddy Roosevelt. It later became a national park in 1916 after the eruption of Lassen Volcano in 1914. So on the sides of this log that I'm sitting on are all these little exoskeletons of, I think it's probably a cricket, but it's pretty cool because they're just all over this log and they've obviously molted and moved on to being something new. It's pretty cool. As the name so implies, this park is named for its volcanoes. And you can see the evidence in that in all of these rocks around me that just show some of its volcanic history. The area around Lawson Peak is surrounded by boiling mud pots, hot springs, and fumaroles. And that is exactly what we're going to see right now at Bumpus Hill. One of the really cool things about this park is due to its high elevation and fluctuation in temperature, it's September and there's still snow. Duck! Lassen is part of the Ring of Fire, and this area has been an active volcanic region for more than three million years. And although all the volcanoes here are now asleep, there are many active steam vents, hot springs, and boiling mud pots that show that the area is still very active right beneath our feet. I'm beginning to smell that iconic sulfur smell of dirty rotten eggs, so I know we must be getting close. The road to hell was easy. That's what Sir Bumpus said right after he almost lost his leg in a boiling pot of mud. He was maimed but not broken and led many people through this inhospitable area for years to come. Bumpus Hell is the largest hydrothermal area in the park. The steam has reached temperatures as high as 322 degrees Fahrenheit. And although this water might look like it's refreshing, it's actually way too acidic to be safe for a swim. The sulfuric acid and water coming out of the ground at Bumpus Hill have been eroding these rocks around me for many hundreds of years. And as a result of that, you will see clay deposits all the way down this stream. Mud pots are just one of the interesting things to look at, and these change a lot depending on the weather. In wet years, mud pots can become saturated, changing them into boiling pools, and in dry years, they can become steam vents as the mud dries up and hardens. This is Lake Helen. It's actually freezing, but as you can see, there are some crazy or brave people doing some swimming. How's the water? Cold. Yeah. <laughs> Lake Helen is also one of the best places to view Lassen Peak, which is actually the largest plume dome volcano in the entire world and the southernmost volcano in all of the Cascades. As you may have guessed it, hiking is very popular here at Lassen Volcanic Park, and there are over 150 miles of trails. One of the popular ones is the Kings Creek Trail, which takes you to a beautiful waterfall, so let's check it out.
I know we're almost there because I can hear the rush of water behind me. This is one of the most popular hikes here at Lassen and for good reason. The waterfall we're about to see not only keeps me cool, but it's absolutely beautiful. One of the things I love about this park is that most of the park is actually designated as wilderness area. And if you don't know the difference between a national park and wilderness area, well, wilderness area is actually land that they've set aside where no development is allowed. That means no rest areas, no huts, and no visitor center. Just letting nature take it back. This is the Butte Lake area, one of the more remote areas here at Lassen, and it's very popular with campers and boaters. It also has a ton of volcanic and geologic history. If you can check out behind me, there is just a ton of volcanic rocks. And then down by my feet here, there's this pretty awesome volcanic black sand. Uh, we're actually gonna be hiking out to the cinder cone, and that's the volcano that created all this history. This massive area of basaltic lava is known as the Magnificent Lava Flow. And these rocks all around me look like they're here for the long haul, but they're actually already in a state of decomposition. If you can see some of the green moss and lichen that are covering all of these rocks, they are already breaking down these massive pieces, and one day they will be the soil on the forest floor. This is a great place where you can actually see the basaltic lava turn into this ash-strewn forest floor below me. And the trees here have really found a way to be able to not only survive, but thrive in this harsh environment. A lot of these trees have big burn marks like you can see on this one. Uh, there's actually a lot of lightning strikes in here that have caused forest fires. But the trees in here have been really resilient. And from what I know about trees, I know that big trees like this guy don't really like little saplings because they suck up all their nutrients and water that they so desperately need. So as we walk around the park, you will see that a lot of the trees have huge spaces in between them, and that is just one of the benefits that they have from dealing with fire. We just got done walking about a mile in this loose black sand, and now we get to hike for the summit. It's about 800 vertical feet, and you can see the trail right over my shoulder here, and it's not gonna be easy. If you've ever tried running on the beach, this is gonna be even worse. made it to the top of the cinder cone. And as the name implies, this is a cinder cone volcano. Lassen is actually one of the few places in the world where you can see all four types of volcanoes. And right over my shoulder here, you can actually see about 10 volcanoes. One of the other things that you can see up here is the crater from this volcano. It erupted about 400 years ago and molten ash and lava would have spewed out of the caldera down there, which created this crazy landscape that we see all around us.
Not many people get to say they've been in the middle of a volcano, but that's exactly where we are in the center of the caldera. With some of the fewest visitors of any national park, you can take in these rugged views in almost complete silence. The Cinder Cone Volcano sits in the western part of the park, which is known for its great lava pinnacles, crystal clear lakes, glaciated canyons, and colorful volcanic fields. These beautifully multicolored pumice fields that you see around me are known as the Painted Dunes, and they were actually formed over the last several centuries by the oxidation of volcanic ash. Finally back at the base of the cinder cone here and I am very hot and sweaty, but I'm so glad that I made the climb up to the top of the cinder cone. I saw some pretty remarkable things from the lava flow to the painted dunes and the lakes around. And as you can see behind me, there are quite a few more people making the trek. My journey through Lassen Volcanic ends here at Manzanita Lake. It's been an incredible experience here, and this is a fantastic place to come if you want to rent a kayak or a canoe, and you can sit on the lake admiring Lassen Peak in the background. I hope you guys have enjoyed following along with me on this journey, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that little like button in the bottom corner.